Hey guys, this is Paish from bwom.com and when Xiaomi unveiled the Mi 10T and the Mi 10T Pro in India, I was actually quite excited to get hands on those devices because I thought in India, the price was very, very good. I mean, Indians generally are inclined towards budget flagships in the 30 to 40K price segment and with OnePlus going upwards of 40K, I think the Mi 10T and the Mi 10T Pro could be like the budget flagships of 2020. Well, this is the Mi 10T Pro and while this is not a review, this seems like a very balanced flagship phone so far. But there's one thing that could either make or break this phone. So this is the new Mi 10T Pro and I'm sure you've guessed what I'm talking about. And I know you guys are probably aware of the specs too. But how does the Mi 10T Pro compare to the Mi 10? Check it out. So there's a 6.67 inch LCD display with a 144Hz refresh rate on the Mi 10T Pro and a 90Hz AMOLED on the Mi 10. Both of them have the same Snapdragon 865 with 5G LPDDR5 RAM, but the Mi 10T Pro has the faster UFS 3.1 storage. As for the cameras, both have the same main cameras, 108 megapixel f1.7 sensor with OIS and the same 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, but the Mi 10T Pro actually has the higher resolution 5 megapixel macro lens and it does not have the practically useless 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now when it comes to a battery, the Mi 10T Pro has a slightly bigger battery and slightly faster charging, but the Mi 10 has wireless charging support and the Mi 10T Pro does not. So these are the differences and considering the price gap, I think the one big difference between these two Mi flagships is the display. The fact that the Mi 10T Pro has an IPS LCD display. I know it's a 144 hz display, but let's face it, AMOLED is AMOLED. I prefer AMOLED and a majority of the people prefer AMOLED over IPS LCDs. So why exactly did Xiaomi put in an IPS LCD in the Mi 10T Pro? Well, I recently came across this interview on TechRadar where Xiaomi's product marketing manager said this about the Mi 10T Pro. It's better to have a high quality LCD, the best of the best LCD versus a middling sort of AMOLED. So basically he means that Xiaomi has used a very good LCD panel on the Mi 10T Pro. So I honestly wanted to check how good is this display? How does it compare to say an AMOLED display? Now I have two phones with AMOLED displays right now, the OnePlus 8T and the Galaxy S20 FE. Both of these have 120Hz AMOLED, so refresh rate wise 120Hz versus 144Hz isn't exactly a big difference. So it all boils down to the display quality. Well I did three tests to check the display quality. First I did a brightness test. I turned off the auto brightness in all of three phones, matched out the brightness on all of them. Now as you can see the Mi 10T Pro is actually the brightest of them. I also wanted to see how dim they go because good displays generally get very dim for better viewing at night and turns out the Mi 10T Pro also gets the dimmest so this LCD display is actually pretty good. Having said that the major advantages of AMOLED lie on the fact that they have more range when it comes to the colors and contrast ratio. So I played some videos on all these phones to notice some difference. Now here's a nice vibrant video playing on all three phones and as you can see the Mi 10T Pro isn't lacking when it comes to the colors. To be honest, an IPS LCD can't match the contrast and deep blacks of AMOLED, but when it comes to colors and the overall picture quality, I think the Mi 10T Pro's display does very well. That's not all, I even compared the LCD on the Mi 10T Pro to the LCD on the budgetish Poco X3 to see the difference. And yeah, the Mi 10T Pro display is actually better. It's brighter, as you can see in the shot, and it's also slightly more color accurate and has better colors. So the Mi 10T Pro display is actually very good. I mean, like I said, AMOLED is AMOLED, but I think this is actually a very good LCD panel. Obviously, it can't match AMOLED, but it's not like you're using a cheap LCD panel on your flagship phone. Plus the 144Hz refresh rate means the display is very smooth and responsive. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that like the Mi 10, the Mi 10T Pro is again quite a hefty phone. See, the size and weight of the Mi 10 was like the biggest issue I had with the phone and it kind of remains on the Mi 10T Pro too. Here's a comparison of the Mi 10T Pro's size and weight with the 8T and S20 FE and you can see that the Mi 10T Pro is heftier and also thicker. Honestly, Xiaomi, I really want to know why you guys aren't making compact and sleek phones. Give this video a like if you agree with me. Anyway, the rest of the Mi 10T Pro is actually pretty good. I mean, the size and weight apart, I like how the phone looks when it's clean and shiny and does not have a thousand fingerprints on it. And well, it does look very premium. As for the performance, there's been no lag or stutter so far and the cameras are really good. Here are some photos from the phone and they look very good. I mean, the Mi 10 did beat the OnePlus 8 in a camera comparison video. So with the Mi 10T Pro featuring the same main camera, the performance should be very good. As you can see in these photos, it does seem actually pretty good. So overall, I think the Mi 10T Pro is a very balanced budget flagship of 2020. 
be it when it comes to price or be it when it comes to specs. But yeah, these were kind of my first thoughts on the phone and I'll be testing things like camera, the battery and more in the next few days. So let's see how it goes. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts on the Mi 10T Pro and do you want us to review this phone? Tell us in the comment section below. Also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.